How's it going everybody? I just spun up a new virtual machine for a friend of mine so that he can go through and learn some stuff inside of VMware Workstation. And the problem, he uh, he sent me an email and says, hey, I can't connect into that virtual machine you set up for me. I said, alright, let me take a look at it. So I, I logged into the vSphere client, as you can see. And as I'm looking at the vSphere client, now I've, I've since... Uh, figured out what the problem was but um, the VM was showing up as suspended so if you were to click on this guy and go to power and go click on suspend it's going to show up with a couple uh, it's going to show up with uh, these two vertical orange bars that look like a pause button I'm like well what the heck I'm like why is it doing that I, I never set it to do that and it was like er after every half an hour it would do this so then I did a quick Google search, and like one of the first things that I saw was it's an auto suspend. So I'm like, oh, auto suspend. All right. So the quick fix for this is to actually click on the start menu and go to control panel. Click on, uh, I believe, system and security, and click on power options. Now in here it says turn, choose when to turn off the display. It's set for 10 minutes and 30 minutes. Then put the computer to sleep. And then you can say to when the change when the computer sleeps, same thing. So I'm going to turn this to never and never because I don't know when he's going to log into it. So I don't want him to bug me every time that he wants to log in and it's not working. I'm going to save the changes. Now, the nice thing about this is once you set that, you want to come back in here and just double check that your your changes were taking effect and you know you're good to go. Click OK on that, and then you should be fine. But it's one of those things where it's like, really? And, you know, it's one of those, I thought it was a bug at first as well, but it was um, a quick blog post, and I'll put the um, uh, the blog post into the description of the video. Because it's like one of those, man, I would have never thought to do that. And, you know, because if you look at, uh, I have a Windows 7 VM, and I'll pull that guy up real quick. Um, where is he at? This is my Windows 7 VM. This is another virtual machine running on that same host. If I go here, and I didn't double check here, but I'm going to just to be, just to check here real quick. All right, so yeah, see, it it's automatically it's disabled. So these are all grayed out, and so it's like why on his machine it was like that is is I'm not really sure. But see, the funny thing about it is when you have it, um. Uh, VMware Tools was showing up as not installed on that virtual machine as well. And I was like, well, what the heck? Because now if I go to the summary, it says VMware Tools is running and is current. I'm like, okay. Uh, I, I guess that's kind of cool. But it's a pain in the butt to troubleshoot. So hopefully you guys will find that in, uh, helpful. And uh, if you need any help, let me know. I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.